What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Momo on the Move. Today I just want to sit back and kind of do another reflection video like I did last year on my first year coming out to California. But before I do that, I kind of want to shamelessly promote my new merch. I got hoodies out right now, maroon, white, and royal blue. If you don't have one yet, what are you waiting for? Head over to MomoOnTheMove.com and cop yours while it's hot. Just when I thought 24 was my best year yet, 25 came to play. <laughs> in good and in a good way and a bad way. It was definitely a roller coaster, but I think 25 kind of blew 24 out the water. 24, I took a lot of leaps of faith in uncharted territory, not knowing what was gonna happen, just hoping for the best. And 25, I was like, all right, now I just got to make the most of my self-discoveries that I made at 24 and just try to level up more than I did last year. Um, but then quarantine hit and Corona hit. And I was like, how am I supposed to do that? Um, I think for a lot of us this year, we learn to appreciate what we have more instead of what we don't have, which is I think something that we focus on on the regular, but when we started to lose a lot of things, I think we began to appreciate the little things in life more, which I thought was great. I thought it was a blessing in disguise and a great eye opener for all of us. But when I couldn't work at the restaurant because restaurants were closed and I couldn't film because no filming was happening, I was like, how am I supposed to do what I gotta do. But if it wasn't for quarantine and lockdown, it wouldn't have forced me to hone in on my own skills and you know take the time to do all the things I said I couldn't do because I didn't have the time. But thanks to quarantine, I was able to launch my own website that I made on my own. Um, I was able to launch my own merch hats and hoodies i was able to turn my studio my bedroom into a studio which is a dream come true i didn't think momo was momo on the move was going to level up to the level it is right now um and i owe all my thanks to my friends and family my boyfriend thor who supported me the whole way through yeah i just really hope that a lot of you out there who had to stay home, took advantage of the time being home, especially if you're a creative. But if you didn't have the time because you were an essential worker, shout out to you. Thank you for all of your hard work this past year. Without you guys, I don't even know where we would be. Also, aside from really leveling up my podcast and taking it off the ground, I created my first short film with my best friend, my boyfriend, my cousin, and her man. And if you haven't seen it yet, Alan's Cabin is out on YouTube, um, which was a fun little production that we made in a week from the idea to the production to the post-production. Um, I thought that was awesome. And honestly, without COVID, I don't think I would have quit bartending. And I told myself at the end of 2020, I wanted to stop relying on bartending for as my main source of income. And since that, I was able to work PA gigs, which is in the entertainment business, and land more acting roles, which kind of terrified me because I was like, what if I don't land anything? But luckily, I was able to steadily land gigs once filming started back up again, and I didn't have to rely on that bartending money to, you know, survive. <laughs> But yeah, like last year, I had a little list of goals that I wanted to accomplish. And my list was pretty short because, you know, I just wanted to set attainable goals for myself. Um, one of them was to be SAG eligible. I did that thanks to landing more acting gigs this year. Um, new headshots, got that done. Thank you, Adam. Shout out to you. And complete my boxing script and complete my acting room. Still working on those, but that is gonna stay on the list for 2021. So some goals list for, for 2020, 2020, I really hope that um, my gigs keep on coming and I end up catching a big break, hopefully on the big screen, fingers crossed, just putting it out in the universe. 
And I really hope that for people who really took some L's, who suffered a lot of losses this year, take this year as with a grain of salt. And if you can get through this year, I'm sure you can get through any year. Um, I hope this just was an eye opener for all of you guys to grow and just become a better version of yourself. I hope you guys use that as a little bit of motivation to push forward. And I'll catch you guys next time on the next episode of Momo on the Move. Peace. His life is good. You know what I mean? Like